Well, friend, it's, it is time for our children's moment today. And uh, so children of God, sometimes, sometimes the world can be a scary place. Sometimes when, uh, especially when we are young, but throughout our lives, there we experience some really scary times and it can feel really dark and sad and depressing. And there are times when we feel like there's nothing that we can do about the way things are. It can feel pretty hopeless and we can feel pretty helpless during these kinds of times. In our passage today, there's a story that's about, it's called the transfiguration but it's about a transformation of Jesus. And the disciples are up on a mountain. And there's this tradition where if you're up on a mountain, it's almost like you're closer to God. And there are a number of reasons for this. Like when you're up high on a mountain, you have almost this view of the world that's like bigger than what you had before. And so the disciples and Jesus, they feel like there's something mystical, there's something transformational that is happening here. And they see Jesus light up. When I was younger, we had flashlights. Do you have flashlights in your houses? <laughs> I don't know if you have flashlights in your houses anymore. I have a flashlight. You might? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yes, I have. Um, actually, our our son did something we called the flashlight dance. Oh, in, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. uh, you might have your phone, which has a flashlight on it, and uh, it can light things up. And in our passage today, it helps us to see things better. And in our passage today, I think that one of the things that we are learning is that. Jesus is lit up kind of like a flashlight to help us find our way when it comes to what God is like in the world. And so you heard Sharon, the great voice of God in the passage today say, this is my son, listen to him. One of the great traditions in, in Christianity is if you want to know what God is truly like in the world, look to Jesus who lights the way for us. And what is that way? It's the way of love. During these dark times, it's important to come together and love one another, including those that we might call our enemies, because the world is so often painful and anxiety producing, and Jesus shows us that God is the presence in the world that is love and invites us to love one another. So friends, let us pray for our children today, and then we will continue our worship service. So I invite you to take a deep breath as we come together in prayer. Gracious God, we give thanks for the ways that you illuminate our lives and show us who you truly are. A God of love, a God of compassion, a God of peace. Help us to live into your ways now and forevermore. Amen.